again. This is review number two today. I am uh, doing Henry Margu reviews. That's a tongue twister. Try and say that three times. Henry Margu reviews. <laughs> okay, so I actually just got home uh, less than an hour ago, and there's this box sitting at my door. I knew it was coming, but I didn't know what was coming, and I had no idea that it was going to be two. So today I'm going to be showing you Henry Margu's Danielle, and this is in the color 14H. So stick around and I will go all over this one as well. So it's always fun getting hair mail, isn't it? Um, I, I was just super excited. I was like, oh my gosh, it was a big, you know, box. So I knew that there had to be more than one in there. So, okay, uh, both of these wigs today that I have showed you were provided to me by Tracy from TL Wigs so that I could do the reviews. Now, we invite you to shop the website www.tlwigs.com. It is going to be listed in the description box down below as well as the direct product link to Danielle here. And you will find at checkout that there are several options to pay, including shop pay, where you buy now and you can pay interest-free installments over a period of time that you choose. And there is also an amazing rewards program. So on top of that, we would also love to see you all over there in our private Facebook group, TL Wigs Support, Inspiration, and Education. Now, I don't know when Mother's Day is. I know bad. Um, I'm a mother, but I do not know when Mother's Day is. It's probably this Sunday, maybe next Sunday. I don't know, but I know it's coming up, and I'm going to tell you there are some giveaways going on over there in the group where you can win a wig every month for six months. Uh, you have to make a purchase. Every purchase that you make get you entered into the contest. On top of that, though, besides the contest and the giveaways, you're going to find an amazing group of, you know, people that are just so uplifting and helpful. If you ever have any questions at all, there's always somebody that's going to know the answer to that for you. So, we look forward to seeing you over there. Get started shopping. So what do you think of Danielle here? This is one, no kidding, this is one that I did a search on YouTube and I found maybe one review on. And so I told Tracy that I would like to, you know, review this one because you never see it. And it's just adorable, I think. Um, first, we'll go over the color, 14H. It's a very easy basic color this is a dark blonde with light wheat blonde highlights now this is not a rooted color i know in the camera i can see it as well it looks to appear to have a root but there is not a rooting oh and she's just cute i know it looks a little retro but hey i'm a little retro i like you know some of the well i like a lot of the old uh, retro styles and what's retro to me may not be retro to you so that's why I wanted to uh, do this review and show this so this one again is from their uh, feather light capless collection it is another one that you just take out of the box give it a little shake and plop it on your head there is no fancy uh, monofilament features no lace front um, you just, what you see is what you get. But isn't she cute? Oh my goodness. I love the little flips and all the different layers and everything going on here. It's just adorable. And I think that this would complement a lot of different facial features. Um, I have a little bit of a, eh, not a little bit. I have a lot of a double chin going on down here. So I usually like something that I can sweep in to my face to kind of you know help obscure that and look at that just wants to roll right in there it's so cute so this is full of layers and flips and the bang 
it's just I think adorable so this bang here is four and a half inches so that's a very nice doable bang you can comb it down to wear it covering your full forehead or you can split it a little bit like I had it and then I kind of took this side and kind of flared it out so that bang is four and a half the sides are six and a quarter the nape underneath if we can see it is seven overall this is about 14 and a half inches but I'm kind of questioning that it, it doesn't feel that long in the back so I'll go ahead and do my uh, full 360 spin so you can see her all the way around so this is my left in the back see the little flips and very very fine uh, density this is a lower density uh, with it being the feather light collection so I'm going to take it off and show you the inside of the cap here just like the last one um, no nothing fancy so you have your front here which is the capless uh, design this is very soft that's going to sit on, on your forehead um, this is your closed cap right here there is some permities there here is the open wefting throughout the sides and the back this one does have an extended nape but it's not covered as well as the ear tabs not covered and then you still have the uh, velcro closures so yeah just right out of the box she's just a cute little flippy little shag and i think with some products on this you can get a really cute style or just wear it like it is out of the box like like i said you don't see this one ever i don't think i've ever seen this on anyone i actually know Quite a few ladies, though, that wear their hair just like this. So, like I said, what might be retro, you know, to me or you may not be to uh, someone else. So, you just have to make sure that you get that up there at the hairline. But the bang, it's, it's doable. I think it's very, very doable. This is such a cute style. And the more you keep going, you know, like this... The more flared out she gets, I like that. And I, I need to kind of do something with that there. It doesn't know if it wants to come in or curl. Easy fix. Easy fix with some good, oh, water. Water is what I use for those little, you know, flippies that don't know what they want to do. And we'll just go ahead and spray a little bit on there. Now, the uh, fit on this one says an average. Um, I will get up here and show you my coverage. It's not, it's not the greatest. This one seems to be a little bit uh, smaller. Here is where it stops, right here. Same as the other. Well, if I had it on straight. Now, let's do that again. So it's stopping just above of my frames. And that one there wants to bend up because I didn't bend it in. So yeah, it's a little bit, um, it felt a little bit tighter going on my head. But um, I have since uh, done the closures, the Velcro closures. I put those out a little bit and that seemed to help some. So. Um, I want to go outside again with this one and show this color outside in the natural sunlight so that you can see it out there. And styling options, um, this one would be really cute. Oh, boy. I just kind of set these on my head. I don't like them. Look, she's cute with a headband, even though I don't know how to put them on. The sides since they've got that oh ear tucks ear tucks would be phenomenal and then get you some little oh I got pieces sticking way up there 
So yeah, I think with some you know hair clips and things like that, you can pull it up on the sides. I really want to get in here though and just do this. The Permatease Factor on this one, um, I'm going to be honest, it does not feel as much Permatease as Lola that I just did, especially up here on the top. It's, it's kind of strange. I figured that this one would have a lot more Permatease than Lola, but it doesn't. It's actually on the kind of medium spectrum for Permatease. All right, guys, um, I want to thank you for watching, if you did, both of my reviews today. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would appreciate it so much. Um, I'm doing so many reviews here lately. I hope that it continues, and um, I hope that I'm bringing, you know, different things to y'all that you may want to see. If you ever have any suggestions of anything that you'd like me to uh, show you, just let me know. I will, I will see what I can do. Um... But right now, I want to get us outside and see this color. To me, this is, I've had 14H before, and to me, in the natural light, it kind of looks like a strawberry blonde. So, we'll just go outside and take a look, all right? So, thanks again, y'all. Have a great day. My thing here. All right, guys, here is outside in the full sun. I am on my back deck and I have an umbrella up here. So I'm just gonna step into it. See, it kind of looks like a strawberry blonde. It's a really pretty blonde. And this is in the filtered, obviously. All right guys, thank you.